Liberal Party is uh, in controversy in British Columbia, specifically uh, Justin Trudeau, I suspect, as much as anything. I mean, Justin Trudeau has said that they've got an open policy in terms of nominations for the Liberal Party, but we're seeing more and more acclamations coming forward as other challengers are discouraged. This one has an interesting twist in that there's religious overtones as well as uh, fundamentalist overtones. So Adis Vinsky joins us, um, a contributor from Vancouver, because this is the Sikh community um, discouraged with the Liberal Party, isn't it? <clears throat> Right. So um, this is talking about a riding in Vancouver known as Vancouver South. There were two candidates in the running for the nomination. Um, Harjit Sahan is uh, one of them and he is the Trudeau favorite um, and endorsed by the World Sikh Organization which does have some extremist links. They're known uh, to be Air India truthers um, and some uh, extremist links with the bomb makers of, of the Air India truthers tragedy. Um, and then the other one was Barj Dahan, and he w actually very recently just dropped out of the running uh, due to what he says was pressure from the official Liberals. So what we're seeing now is BC Sikhs saying we're no longer uh, going to be Liberal Party members. There's about 4,000 of them um, who are uh, rebelling basically against this pressure from the official Trudeau team um, and ripping up their members. So this is the first real uh, political, practical political pushback that, that Trudeau is experiencing as a result of this, losing party members uh, because of this kind of star candidate process that we've seen in other ridings as well. And we're starting to see it also um, in Vancouver East where Jody Emery has been running um, and now there seems to be a Trudeau favorite in Joanne Griffiths who's, um, who has the endorsement of, of the Trudeau uh, uh, Team Trudeau, so to speak. Yeah, the WSO, we should be clear too, uh, in terms of that fundamentalist that uh, was looking for an independent Sikh state. Uh, Khalistan is, if I cor uh, correctly, um, and Sahan's, uh, you know, he's a decorated soldier, but his dad was involved in these kinds of battles as far as his background is concerned. Isn't that the case? Right, and I, I do want to make it clear that Sahan is not a member of the World Sikh Organization. He doesn't say, or he says that he is not an extremist, uh, so he's he's making that clear. So this isn't um, an extremist candidate versus um, a moderate candidate. It's um, a candidate that has support of the more extremist group. Um, so, But I, I really see that as the side issue to the this um, acclamation of candidates um, that's so contradictory to what Trudeau has said that he's going to do, uh, which is an open nomination process. And this is just the latest in a series of ridings that seem to be uh, so upset at uh, what's going on here uh, with Ottawa basically saying, it doesn't matter what you think, uh, we're going to uh, acclaim our candidate that we would like, uh, which of course is, is allowed, but it goes so against what Trudeau has said that he's going to do. And when Trudeau was asked about this, uh, he said that there's actually no problem with it, that the riding's deciding and, and he doesn't see any issue with this at all. So it'll uh, certainly be interesting to watch as uh, this nomination, so, so now uh, Sahan is the only one in the running. Um, so it we're obviously expecting him to be acclaimed uh, at the nomination meeting, which is happening on Friday. Um, and then there's another race um, after that in, um, in Surrey, where there's another Sikh candidate, some controversy there. So that's happening uh, on Saturday. So we'll see where this goes if more people uh, end up ripping up their memberships and dropping the Liberal Party. Um, and it seems like th these Sikhs who have uh, left their Liberals are now uh, supporting Harper. So de definitely we're, we're starting to see uh, this affecting people on the ground much more. Yeah, and it's, we should point out too, these are considered swing uh, ridings and, and critical of the votes that happened there, but the Conservatives had great success in the area. And you know, the Conservatives have owned, if you will, over the last five, ten years or so, that whole immigration uh, community, uh, not just the Sikh community, but a whole bunch of immigration communities because of some of the policies they've come forward with. 
Right. Um, so it definitely uh, spices up the race. And, and like I was mentioning also here in, in Vancouver East, uh, definitely another really interesting riding to watch. That's, that one's much more of an NDP stronghold, uh, but we're seeing the same uh, star candidate process. Um, so Vancouver South could be liberal conservative, uh, Vancouver East liberal NDP. So uh, it's getting more exciting here uh, as the election approaches for sure. Always interesting in BC with the elections, should they ever happen. Uh, thanks a lot, Anna.